Automation and control is all about making decisions based on data. So take a manufacturing robot, for example, that measures the position and orientation of a workpiece and based on this decides what forces to apply in order to manufacture a desired shape. In order to implement these control loops, data needs to be transmitted from the sensors, that's where the data is generated, to the computer, that's where the decision is made. In most control systems today, communication occurs over wired networks, for example, inside cars and airplanes. But to flexibly interconnect all sorts of physical processes that may be very far apart or even mobile, communication needs to occur over wireless networks. Of course, as we all know from our Wi-Fi network at home, wireless communication can be highly unreliable. Messages do get lost in transmission and may be delayed by varying amounts of time. And therefore, we really cannot keep on working in isolation on control and communication. We have to consider both parts together to jointly uh, come up with a solution. So that's why we then teamed up. So we had done people from the control side and from the communication side and joined forces to come up with a novel co-design and on the control side, this meant that, for example, in the beginning, we stated requirements. And this includes that if we want to be able to control fast systems with fast dynamics, then we also need communication to be fast. And also we want the communication to be reliable. We want to exactly know when a message arrives, and ideally we want all of them to arrive. So we don't want to have message loss in between. And ideally, we have all information available on all systems. Based on these requirements, we can now design a wireless protocol that can quickly and reliably exchange the information among all nodes in the network and that can also provide real-time guarantees. However, we cannot overcome all the limitations of wireless communication, such as message losses and communication delays. Nevertheless, in our co-design, the delays are highly deterministic and the message losses are rare and uncorrelated. And now back on the control side, we take these key characteristics of the communication system and develop a suitable control design. And overall, this co-design of communication and control strategy now allows us to come up with a unified system model that incorporates both the control and the communication characteristics in a rather straightforward and simple model that is analytically tractable. And this analytically tractable unified system model now also allows us to derive theoretical properties of our control and communication design. And since we based our theoretical analysis on this unified system model that includes both the communication and the control side, our theoretical guarantees now also translate into practice. And the system we chose here for our testbed is called a card pool system and we chose it because it has fast dynamics so it is actually difficult to stabilize this pole. By uh, joining forces between the communication and the control side, we're able to develop a co-design that can close the gap also between theory and practice. Our co-design provides important features, such as, for example, node mobility. Because we neither rely on the concrete network topology, nor do we need to take care of individual links. We also support multi-hop networks, so we can exchange information over large distances, and by doing so, we can cover complete factory halls. The message exchange is fast and reliable, so that we can not only stabilize such fast physical systems, but we can also quickly handle disturbances. Typically, these systems operate in different modes. Our approach provides the flexibility to quickly, safely and seamlessly switch between all those operating modes without invalidating our theoretical guarantees. Now you can see that the systems are synchronizing their movements. A key ingredient in our co-design is the flooding-based communication protocol that relies on synchronous transmissions. You can imagine this like a wave that propagates through the network. The messages are passed from neighbor to neighbor in a precisely time-synchronized way. By doing so, we can use all the available communication links, which reduces the impact of interference to a local area and which increases our robustness overall. This makes our design independent of the actual network topology, which enables nodes to move around freely without having any negative impact on the control performance. By teaming up between communication and control experts, we came up with a new co-design. With this co-design, we achieved for the first time fast feedback control and coordination over wireless multi-hop networks, and this with rigorous theoretical guarantees. 
This is a potential enabler for many applications, from smart manufacturing to autonomous vehicles. And our solution does not rely on any dedicated external infrastructure that needs to be installed and maintained. Instead, our solution is based on off-the-shelf hardware components and available to the public as open source.